This is the Consumer Reports campus. And this up here looks like an ordinary house, but this is where they can test products in a real home setting. Come on. Usually when you think home security, you think door locks, surveillance cameras, even making sure your windows are secure. <laughs> but there is a small and often overlooked electronic device that could pose a great security risk for you, and that is your wireless router. You'd be amazed at how much private information flows right through it. Let me put it to you this way. Leaving your router unprotected is like opening the front door and letting a computer hacker walk right in. Excuse me, excuse me. No one would willingly let this guy into their house. I mean, here he is, using the router to access social media accounts, private bank records, and shh, even cat videos. Ooh, cat videos. <laughs> Maria Rerasic, head of electronic testing and an electrical engineer graduate of MIT. So what exactly is a Wi-Fi router and why is it so vulnerable to hacking? A router takes the internet connection coming into your house and distributes it to anything that needs the internet. Mm. So because it's connected to all of the internet connected devices in your house, it's the gateway to all those devices and all of the information flows through it. All right, so how do we make it more secure? There are three main steps you should take to help secure your router. The first one is to make sure that the firmware on the router is updated to the latest version. Ugh, updates. So the second one is to change the login names and the passwords for the router itself and for the wireless networks. Mm. So it's important that as soon as you get it, as soon as you purchase it, yeah. change that password immediately. Definitely. You want to change those usernames and passwords to something unique and something that you know. Uh, this password is fantastic. I can't get in. Number three has to do with remote access. This is a mode where someone from the outside on the internet can access the settings of the router to change them. It's usually used in businesses, so you should make sure that that's disabled or off on the settings in your router. Looks like they've disabled their remote access. So why is privacy so important to you? We're working on how to evaluate products and apps for data privacy and security so that we can tell consumers which products are more effective at protecting their data and which ones are worse. So what you're essentially saying is that the firmware needs to be updated. Second, that as soon as I buy the router, make sure you change the password immediately. And then third, make sure that that remote access uh, feature is turned off because it's mostly for businesses. That's right. All right. Thank you so much, Maria. You're welcome. So remember, secure your router and shut the door on unwanted guests. Come on. And don't come back! I'm sorry. I'll be better. I like the cat videos. <laughs>